how to register for the SAT. First, you need to go to collegeboard.com or collegeboard.org. You sign up for a new account. You select I'm a student. You provide your first name with the same spelling as it appears in the national uh, ID or the passport, your middle initial, which is optional, and your last name. You select your gender, date of birth, and you provide a valid email address. And this email address, you may need it if you forget your password and you need to get a link to reset your password or you need to send an email to college board. You select your high school graduation. Uh, you write your postal code. If you're an international student, you select outside the US. Then you write the name of your school here. Um, if your school name is not listed, you select here. And then you write your username. Your password. You confirm your password, then you select your security question and you give a unique answer that you need to remember. Now, if you're an international student, you select outside the US, then you write your uh, address. I'm giving a random answer for the address from Madi Cairo, Egypt. You select your country and as you see I skip all the fields that uh, do not have the red asterisk you can provide your mobile number you can subscribe to the monthly letter or you can provide your parent information anyway you have to agree in the second page you need to confirm that this is your first name this is the middle initial and this is the last name your gender and your date of birth and in the American format it starts with the month the second step is to register for the test of the SAT you select register now you verify The registration could take time from 30 to 40 minutes. You need to decide if you need the essay. Uh, you have to prepare a valid photo and get your credit card, PayPal, or free waivers ready. Then we continue. You can uh, revise all the information here but of course we confirmed the first name the middle initial and the last name that we can't change then your grade probably you're in grade 10 outside the US you revise your address then you continue okay and you have to provide your school Find your school. You can say outside the US and you can search for your school. And if your school is not listed, you just write 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4. It means that your school is not listed. My school is not listed international. You select then you continue then again we need to answer the questions with the red uh, asterisk 
And the most common answer is I don't wish to respond. We skip those without the red asterisk. Do you have the student search service? Okay, no thanks. Continue. Your grade point average, I don't wish to respond. Continue. You can select update later. And then you go to the SAT terms and conditions that you have to agree on. Your test type is the SAT. If you go for the subject test, you select the second option. Uh, for example, we're taking the SAT in October. We we'll select the first one. Select no if you don't need to. Do you need testing accommodations? If yes, please select. Here is no. Do you have a free waiver? No. Would you like to add the student answer service this time and you decide yes or no? Then the test is outside the US. If it's in Egypt, we have different schools. If the school is written in black, it's available. If it's in gray, uh, it's not available. Have different schools. Then you need to upload your photo that has to be clear. You save the image. This is your photo. Then you continue. If you need to buy the SAT guide, you can do it from here. Then uh, you can review your information, your name, your address, the birth of date, your high school name, where you're going to take the exam, the date, the type of the exam. Then you make payment. This is $96 and a half. You agree again. You can use your PayPal account. You can use your Visa MasterCard or other credit card types. You revise your information. You select uh, the type of your credit card, the number. You select the expire uh, month and year, your security code. I'm giving random numbers. Then you submit. You will have a page uh, to print your admission ticket. Thank you.